What's going on everybody? Brian O. Hunt for the Good Stuff back with another episode here in sunny Florida for you. Gulfstream Park, horses, racing, good food. That's what we got going on today, so stick with me. Cheers! Are you ready for a day at the track? I think I am. It should be a really good time. We're over at Ten Palms. It's a nice place where you can kind of relax, sit back, and enjoy the day. You got the horses going by almost every 30 minutes, and you got some delicious food all over the place. People are pumped up, you got people yelling. I'm in the mood to get a little crazy, and the betting's gonna start pretty soon. Now, what's fun about here, you have a couple different options. So if you wanna do like a buffet type thing, they got that available to you. A little traditional savory stuff, and if you want some dessert, you've got that sweet tooth you wanna take care of, they got that too. Also, they got the drinks. You know, it seems soothing that you should have a glass of bubbles. I think I'm gonna do like a mint julep or something later. We'll talk about it. And if they sell big hats, I'm gonna get one for my girl. I think that sounds really good. You have the option also to do a la carte. So, can order from their traditional menu. We got like sandwiches, burgers, traditional entrees, uh, and they've got a sushi option here for you as well. Smell that money in the air? You gotta have your cashola ready because they don't take credit. What you do need to know, you grab some of these books. They got a $1 version, a $5 version, and I think a $10 version. The more it is, the more information it gives you. I got the $5 version. There's an app to place your bets. People are getting wild out here. Saw a guy with a laptop computer juggling like two phones, doing all this crazy stuff. We're talking big business. I got a couple bucks. I like the names of the horses. Maybe I like the colors. Pick what you like, make a bet, make it fun. Told you I was getting that mint julep. I think it's bomb. Whew. Okay, food time. You guys ready to eat? Because I am. You're at Gulfstream Park, you need a Gulfstream roll. Seems like the right thing to do beef tenderloin, you got bell pepper in there, avocado, you got this delicious sauce of cilantro and garlic. That is going to be a good time. Super excited about that. Next in line, old school stuff, we have shrimp cocktail. Little light dusting, we got the citrus on the side, cocktail sauce to boot, that's gonna be a good time. Next in line, we got a Miami favorite, fried plantains, little bit of salt, cute little basket, Let's do that thing and let's wash it down with the mint julep. Cause that feels right. Ooh, it's Gulfstream roll time. Pick out your favorite little guy right there. Make sure you get a little wasabi cause you know what that's like. And we're gonna get a little dippy dips. Mm -mm -mm. Starving, I haven't eaten anything all day. That's what you need in your life. You're betting on horses, you get yourself a Gulfstream roll. Wow. So you would think this little sliver of beef on top wouldn't carry throughout the whole roll, but it does an excellent job at that. And that sauce on top, that cilantro garlic, really envelops the whole experience. Like every single bite, the first one to like the 20th one before you swallow, has that flavor embedded right into it. Get a little bit of creaminess from that avocado, that bell pepper provides that crunch factor. Not only do the colors look awesome, but that flavor profile is on and popping. Give that thing a shot. Shrimpies. See, the bigger the better. That always looks really good. Get a little dip. That, ooh, ooh, never gets old. Citrus, seafood, and that horseradish bite. Mm. Classic combo that is never gonna go old. Tostones, fried plantains, ultra crispy, a little bit of salt. Yes, that's a good time. If you want to get crazy, you can do like a chimichurri on the side. Some people do lime, ketchup, you name it. I like them just like this though. When you're in the mood for those crazy crustaceans, you gotta go lobster roll. Why not? I mean, nothing makes you feel like a bowl or like a nice piece of steak, right? Mm. That crust on top, that Maillard reaction, on point. You got that eye portion, and you got that cap. Cap, some, some might say is the chef's cup. Yeah, that cap. That cap is where it's at. So I studied my book a little bit, and I think I know what I'm doing. I'm a master at this now, basically. I don't know what I'm doing. So 
three to one odds on Palladio. We got four to one odds on New York style. We got bets on both of them. Talk to my gal. She hooked me up with a couple pieces of paper. So if it hits, it's going to hit big. We're waiting for the race. We have uh, 515, I believe. It's raining a little bit. I feel like Palladio is a closet mutter. You know what that is? Good in the rain. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, baby, come on. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Blam it. Get it, baby. Oh, we got second place on one. Come on. Come on. This probably tastes fantastic. My horse just got second place. Second place. So close, you kind of feel it in your stomach type thing. I mean, I don't, I don't really want to eat this. No. Okay, I, I do want to eat. I do want to eat. Let's go back. Boom. Classic little vanilla apple thing going on here. Oosh. Let's hit that. It's melted a little bit because we were out for the races. That makes everything okay. I was right in the world. Did I lose today? I don't even know. All right, so I didn't win. Still super excited though, because this is the first time I've ever done something like this, and it was a hell of an experience. Got this beautiful view, got the horses doing their things outside, the food was really good, the service was great. You guys gotta come back to Gulfstream. I gotta come back to Gulfstream, and we all have to make a whole lot of money, because they took mine today. What are you going to do? In the end, thank you for tuning in, everybody. Take care, be well, and I'll see you soon on For the Good Stuff, signing out.